Hello and welcome back to the Amateur Radio Technician License course. Uh, this is uh, Lesson 2, Part 2, and it's another great day to learn, so let's get started. I'm your instructor, Gary Stevens. Uh, call sign is KE2GS. In this lesson, we're going to learn about uh, public service. Uh, in particularly uh, emergency and non-emergency operations, the applicability of the FCC rules, and RACES and ARIES. One of the main justifications for amateur radio is to have a pool of trained operators in times of disasters. Uh, to be effective, we need to have rules and live by them. Otherwise, the airwaves might uh, be like the Wild West of citizen band radio. Uh, no offense attended. The exam question is, the FCC rules always apply to the operation of amateur radio. A net is a type of formal operation, and as such, it has a station in charge. The station in charge is called net control. Uh, shown is a snippet from the typical Aries Racy's net. For the exam, a net control station is what is meant by the term NCS used in the net operation. Communications can be difficult under ideal circumstances. During emergencies, conditions are less than ideal. Operators may be tired from working hours on end. Uh, band conditions could be noisy, or there could just be chaos due to the nature of the disaster. Uh, the use of uh, phonetics ensures correctness. A location such as uh, Sawmill Road uh, might be copied as Saw Hill Road. So spelled phonetically, Sierra Alpha Whiskey Mike India Lima Lima Road, there is much less room for error. So on the exam, uh, the question is, uh, when using voice modes to ensure that voice messages containing unusual words are received correctly, you should spell the words using the standard phonetic alphabet. And the standard alphabet is also known as the NATO alphabet. Uh, now we're going to talk about emergency communications a little bit more. Uh, Aries and Racies are often the same group of amateur operators, but uh, each has a different function. Uh, Aries operates before and after Racies event, uh, but not during. Uh, Racies does not operate during Aries events. And Racies uh, works closely with emergency management offices, and in some cases, the local CERT or community emergency response teams to facilitate communications with other responders. ARIES, or the uh, Amateur Radio Emergency Services, are licensed amateurs who voluntarily registered their qualifications and equipment uh, for communications duty when disaster strikes. Uh, ARIES is a ARRL arm of emergency services. And uh, RACES, or the Radio Amateur Civil Services, is uh, standby radio services for the uh, United States government. Uh, and it's uh, under the control uh, or jurisdiction of the Federal Communications Commission. And just for informational purposes, it's not on the exam. Uh, there's also a group called Skywarn, which is part of the National Weather Service. And it's a program uh, where volunteer spotters uh, are the first line of defense uh, against uh, severe weather. And amateur radio operators have been uh, performing this role for a number of years successfully. An exam question is, what RACES and ARIES have in common is that both organizations may provide communications during emergencies. The term traffic is used during emergency net operations. In this slide, we see an example of the traffic in the form of a radiogram. This is an older style message, but it works well for this illustration. Uh, in this message, we can see that the Red Cross Disaster Office is requesting more cots and sanitation kits. On the exam, you simply need to know that the term traffic refers to formal messages exchanged by net stations during net operations. 
During net operations, it may become necessary to break or inter break in or interrupt uh, the normal flow of traffic due to an emergency or priority uh, situation. You can say emergency traffic from KD5WBX or priority traffic. This is KD5WBX. Uh, for the exam, you need to know that you begin your transmission by saying priority or emergency, followed by your call sign. It's uh, an acceptable practice uh, to get immediate attention of net control when reporting an emergency. During an emergency, we need to keep our heads in the game and not start talking about trivial things. Emergency nets are considered government business. As shown in this uh, net script snippet, we should not talk until spoken to unless we have an emergency or something that is priority to convey. For the exam, no, we should remain on frequency without transmitting until asked to do so by the net, the net control station. It's an accepted practice for an amateur operator who has checked into a net. During emergencies, correct information can be the difference between life and death or as simple as the difference between comfort and stress. Imagine the message uh, shown being passed as more cots are needed in shelter five rather than all five shelters. For the exam and for emergency operations, passing messages exactly as received is a characteristic of a good traffic handling. When it comes to protecting human life and property, you can use whatever means necessary to ask for help. So the question is, are amateur station control operators ever permitted to operate outside the frequency privilege of their license class? And the answer is yes, but only if necessary in situations involving the immediate safety of human life or the protection of property. The preamble of a message is simply the information that's needed to track it. Uh, in a radiogram, it's basically all the top line. For the exam, you need to know that the information contained in the preamble of a formal traffic message is the information needed to track the message. In an effort to increase the accuracy of a radiogram uh, message, uh, there's a box labeled check. Its purpose is to record the number of words used in the message segment. Uh, in this message, there are 10 words were used and their number 10 was recorded in the, the box labeled check. Uh, for the exam, you should know that the number of words or the word equivalents in the text portion of the message is what is meant by the term check in reference to the formal traffic message. For the exam, you also need to know that Amateur Radio Emergency Service, ARIES, is a group of licensed amateurs who have voluntarily registered their qualifications and equipment for communications duty in the public service. This concludes lesson two. I hope you found this video useful and that it's helping you in your pursuit of uh, your amateur radio license. In lesson three, we're going to learn about radio wave characteristics. So thanks for watching, and if you like this series, please subscribe. Thank you.